beiden Erstern, das wäre was auch. Und die Person, die ist da, 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 die ist Must be talking to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> just said. I feel like she said a dollar. A dollar? Oh, I feel like that's what I heard her say. See what size I know the ones down there she said were six and a half and seven. Six and a half. Um, This place is so packed, I can barely drive down the road. I just parked and I'm gonna walk. It's just easier to walk than it is to drive. Jane, Lois, I'm gonna go in the car.
there a lot out down there? We didn't get down there yet. We didn't get down there yet. There you go, there you go, there you go. A lot of them are huge right now. Like, space. It's bad. All this Watch, uh, watch parking on the wrong side. Like that person did. Mm -hmm. um, Pockets too thick, right? <laughs> I went to Jamaica a couple years ago. I had a stack that deep on my dresser, and that was like 20 bucks. It's 120 to one. Though. 120 dollars. I have a good idea. Did you bring any long sleeve shirts, honey? Oh yeah. Right These ones from when I was younger. Older. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute is this? Oh yeah. And they're they're I forget six hundred milligrams or whatever. They help with my feet.
Oh no, I like you.
if you buy everything in the whole driveway. Oh my. You know. Oh, the kitty picture in the kitty frame. So I am finished <sighs> yard sailing. I only went to one community and I was there so long. I'm probably sunburned. The advertisement said there was like 60 houses participating and I was kind of like, mm, you know, you know how sometimes those things are kind of hyped up and then you get to the sale and it's like mm, 20 houses. Literally pretty much every house in this development was having a yard sale. It was insane. Um, just absolutely crazy. I could barely just even go down a street because it was so tight. Cars packed on either side. So I just parked my car where I could and I walked it. Um, I had to go the whole way, walk back to my car uh, to unload twice <laughs> and then go back around again. So I am going to be so exhausted tomorrow because, well, I am out of shape and it was just a lot of walking in the heat with my bags loaded down because, oh my gosh, I found so much freaking stuff. It's insane. So I'm just going to get on in and show you guys what I found. Um, we're going to start with this first just because it's kind of big and I want to get it. Um, oh my gosh, this thing is just... <laughs> You guys, I am into weird stuff and a lot of the decor, like 
home decor that interests me is just <laughs> eccentric, I guess you'd say. Um, just the weirder it is, look, you see him peeking up from the side here? The weirder it is, the more happy it makes me. So I found these. I don't know if this is a planter um, or just some sort of bowl thing. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm putting it. But look at this. Okay, so it is a ladybug. He's got this wobbly spring head. These, <laughs> look at his leg. All of his feet are these little roller blades okay so this is like the top well the front part i should say of him but he's also got this longer back part does it attach i don't see that it attaches anywhere but it's got this longer back part again with more legs um you know it makes me wonder if this had a head I think it did and maybe it broke off because it has like a thing here but no head so maybe it was like a bigger head I just kind of thought these went together like this was the first part of his body and this part the second but now the more I look at it I believe this one should have a head which it does not I paid two dollars for it so like a dollar a piece so when I use it, like I'm thinking of putting like some plants or something in it, some flowers, I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably just sit it like behind him to make it look like, you know, it's his other, <laughs> his back half. I don't know. I just thought it was so, so cute. So even if like I end up not using this part because it's missing its head, even this one for $2.00. I just, I couldn't pass it up. It was just, just so incredibly cute. So we'll go through the purses next because there were a ton of purses that I got. Oh my gosh, I scored with purses. These first two are Dooney and Burke purses. And this one is just a really nice black leather. Looks like this. And it's in incredibly nice condition. Let me see if I can show you the inside. The inside is just a tad dirty, but the outside looks like brand spanking new. So, first of all, let's see if there's anything interesting left in this purse. I'm not seeing anything since we had fun with the last one, finding old cough drops. Um... Thankfully, there's no, like, used tissue or anything in here. But anyway, this was in a box that said $2. Purses were $2. So I picked up this one. And then also in that box was this one. And this one is also a big black leather. Dooney and Burke has this tag here. And again, the inside looks similar and so this one was in the same box that said you know two dollars so I get up to the lady and when she, uh, remember I was just saying thankfully there's no used tissues oh why is it yellow Ugh. Ugh. Blah. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I bought some hand sanitizer with me. As I was saying, the box said $2 a piece for the purses. And when I see stuff like that, especially on these black leather Dooney and Berg purses, like I'm just always assuming in the back of my mind, I'm going to go up there and the lady's going to be like, Oh, that's a mistake. These were meant to be marked $20. You know what I mean? She said, when I like went to pay her, she said $2. So I made a dollar a piece for these. She didn't even charge me $2 a piece. She just charged me a dollar. I paid $1 a piece for each of those genuine leather Dooney and Burke bags. Oh my gosh. How amazing is that? So, so awesome. I found, one of the first sales I went to, I found this Dooney and Burke purse. 
And this one is just like the signature print, uh, but like kind of the larger DBs. And this one actually had some goodies inside of it. Um, there was a another hair tie. <laughs> this one actually has like a floral print to it. And then there was also this little finder's key purse of the little breast cancer whatchamacallit. So I don't know if they meant to have these in the purse or if there's more stuff in here. This is just going to be like a fun part of my purse finds video of like what I'm finding in my purses. Um, there's this tiny little Ikea pencil. <laughs> That's really cute. I'm going to keep that in my purse. Um, apparently they had recently went to Red Lobster one of the last times. They used the bag. <laughs> there's like Red Lobster wet naps. I might actually use one of those after I record because um, I don't know what I'm touching. These two little like clips. This says made in the USA. Some sort of clip. So they were in this bag. <laughs> you just never know guys. You just never know what you're going to find in your purses when, when you buy bags. So this purse was, oh my gosh, I don't even remember now. I feel like it was $10. It was $5 or $10, no more than $10. So I thought that was a really good deal and it's in really nice condition as well. So three Junie and Burke bags today. I found a couple coach items. Um, I didn't buy, I don't buy everything that I see that's, you know, designer. I buy the stuff that I personally like or it's at a really good price that if I resell it, I can make a decent profit. So I did get this coach crossbody. I think they call these swing packs. It's like a gold, really shiny gold metallic. And this was $10, and I thought it was really cute. Like, this is something that I didn't mind paying $10 for because um, it's one that I might keep. I just never can decide sometimes if I'm going to, like, keep something or if I'm going to sell it. But it looks in really good condition, too. Um, like, it probably wasn't used very often. So $10 for that. I also picked up this coach wallet. This one was $10 as well, but I liked the look of this and I liked the coloring. Um, it just matches a lot of uh, bags and stuff that I carry. So again, I didn't mind paying the $10 because um, if it's something that I'm going to keep, it doesn't really matter. And I don't know, this is fun. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it here on my channel. I know I've mentioned it uh, before on my other channel but when my mom passed away I would find pennies all the time um just randomly weird places and I stopped finding them I have like one of her piggy banks it's shaped like an owl and every time I find a penny a dime a nickel anything like that it's mainly pennies though um I'll put it in this piggy bank and it's getting pretty full and so it had been a while since I found a penny and I told my aunt like shortly after I started finding the pennies about how I was finding pennies all the time and then not long after I told her I was finding pennies she started finding pennies so she would text me message me anytime she found one and she was finding them constantly like how I used to constantly find them but I wasn't finding them anymore so I finally started finding them again and I actually found one like a maybe last week um and then the next day I found a dime and it just it puts a smile on my face because it just it makes me think of my mom and as soon as I open this wallet there is a, pen, <laughs> a penny inside of it so I'm gonna put that in my um my piggy bank and yeah just something that reminds me of her it's like one of those things like yeah okay this is a wallet so it's not that weird that there's you know, possibly a change in here, but you know, usually when you're selling something like this, you would take out anything that was in it. So what are the chances there's a random penny in there? You know what I mean? So that's fun. So I paid $10 for that. And 
had she been, well, she was yard sailing with me. Um, I know she's always with me. She, I'm sure she's with me right now. But if she was like physically here, I just know she would have, like if I wasn't at the sale with her or something, she would have bought me that wallet. You know what I mean? And then give, given it to me because it's just what she would do. She would buy me stuff when I couldn't make it to yard sales and stuff like that. And oh my god, I miss her terribly. <sighs> okay, before I start getting emotional, let's go back into... Um, what I found, I also found this coach purse. I'm starting to forget what I paid for stuff. This coach purse, oh yeah, this one was $2. So this is an older style. The, they have like the little mini signature C print with the leather trim and the leather fob here. So that one looks like it's in really nice condition on the inside as well so these bags have really been taken good care of and oh my gosh this smells so good it smells it smells like leather it smells so wonderful the back the back pocket here is a little bit dirty on the inside so i will have to clean that out but just really cute two dollars for coach i mean that's just awesome at the same sale where I bought that coach purse, I also got this, listen to that rattle, I got this Juicy Couture purse, which looks like this. This is what's rattling. It's this big old charm here. Now, I I know I said in like my last video, like I don't think Juicy Couture is really as sought after anymore like it used to be. I know these bags used to be really popular. I think they were called like the Daydreamers. Um... But for $2, I just couldn't pass it up. I think it's really cute. And, you know, sometimes, like, the vintage style purses, like, they will go back in style later on down the road. So, if it doesn't... Oh, I forgot. I bought something and I put it in here. Um, like, if it doesn't sell now, you know, maybe it will later down the road. Oh, gosh. I'm having a horrible, horrible luck today with tissues. So, I think that's all that was in this one was tissue. Let me see. Is there anything else in there? No. But the inside, I know it's going to be hard to see, but it just looks like that. Um, so, for $2, I don't know. I think that they're still really cute, and um, it's definitely worth $2 in my opinion. Okay, I got a lot of bags today. So, I found two the sack purses and I know I got some of these in at a church sale that I went to and I think I only listed one but I think I have it priced way too high I'm gonna have to come down on the price and I only got around to listing one and I have others I need to list and then I bought some more but this one I might actually keep and I feel like this was I have this one that's bad that's when you know you are a reseller when you buy stuff and you feel like you might already have it. So this one is just a brown leather, the sack purse. And it's in like brand new condition. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the inside print on that. And yeah, I might, I might keep this one just because it's definitely like my style. I think this would be perfect for fall. This was $3. So awesome deal and then at the same sale I got this one and this is also by the sack this one was five dollars though but I really like the look of it I found it was very like boho looking oh here was that one was on the last one it was three dollars and then it just opens like this you have the pocket here and then at the top it also opens and it has the same print on the inside and again it's in like brand new condition no used no used tissues in this one nope that looks good i had a dream last night and this just came to me i had a dream last night i found a bunch of money in a purse that i bought so i'm done going through the purses that i bought though and there was there was no money in them other, other than that that penny I found one Betsy Johnson today, and it looks like this. It's just got these two top handles, 
black and white stripes with a floral print. And this is actually like a travel case and it is dirty on the inside. You can see it has like clear plastic and then like spots to put like brush, like makeup brushes and stuff like that. The outside is in really nice condition, but the inside, like I said, is dirty. So I got to clean it up. Um, you guys, what is this? That's not a tissue. What? What is that? Is this a sock? This is like one of the, I think this is one of those socks like you wear. So like if you're wearing flats. Ew. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't have done that. Now I, now I gotta find it. That's really weird. Um, anyway, this was one dollar. I thought that was still still a really good deal, even though it's dirty and it has a used sock in it. <laughs> um, because it's just it's got it's made of the material that's super easy to wipe clean. If I were selling this at my yard sale, honestly, I would have cleaned it first and put more than a dollar on it because it's, you know, something easily cleanable in my opinion. So, a dollar for that. I picked up these two wallets and I don't really know anything about this brand. I seen some sandals, some flip-flops at the sale I bought the Dooney and Burke persons at and the lady looked like she had, you know... I mean, she was dressed really nice, considering she was just sitting out and having a yard sale. Um, I've never heard of the brand before. It's called Spartina da Fusuki Island Natural Linen Genuine Leather. Like, that's what the little um, tag says. I lost a nail today. That's the kind of day I am having. Lost one of my nails. So you can kind of see the logo, too, right there. I'm trying to hide the fact that I lost a nail. Um, so these were at a different sale though. I didn't buy any of her sandals. They were my size. They were really cute, but they were, you know, pretty warm. So I got these two wallets at this sale. They were a dollar a piece. So I figured even if they really weren't worth much, I could probably list them as like a lot together and, you know, make more than my $2 back, hopefully. Um, or if they're really not worth anything, then you know, a dollar a piece. It's still not that big of a deal. And also at this sale, they had two purses by this brand and they were $5 a piece. And I was going to get the one, but as I was looking at it more and more, there was a lot of wear and tear to it. So I just picked up the wallet. So got those. Don't know anything about them. I picked up this and this is something that I wouldn't normally pick up but it was only 50 cents and I was slightly confused by it um it's marked Burberry I don't know if it's authentic or not though I I'm not good with I'm not good with Burberry I don't really know much about it um it was only 50 cents which doesn't mean much to me. I purchased an authentic Louis Vuitton like change purse for a quarter at a yard sale before. So 50 cents, like you can't just say automatically something's not authentic just because someone's only asking 50 cents for it. This does have some staining on it, um, like right here, which may or may not be able to be cleaned up, but it's like a coated canvas to the fabric. Like the fab like the fabric part feels nice the stitching is all straight the hardware is all engraved and that's what made me like feeling it everything felt nice everything felt right but I still don't know yet if it is authentic I have to find that out first um, but for 50 cents, I decided to take a gamble on it just because in my mind, feeling stuff and feeling quality, especially when it comes to handbags, you can feel what feels nice. And this, this did feel nice. So we shall see if it's authentic or not and if I can even clean it up. Uh, but like I said, for 50 cents, I was going to take that gamble. I also got this little Juicy Couture. This looks like a wallet. That's what I thought it was at first. It was $2. It's just this gold sparkly, but it's actually a little 
makeup case. It has a mirror on the side and then just little like mini travel brushes on the other side. I thought it was really cute for $2. So I got that. I'm probably going to sell it just because I already have a ton of makeup brushes, but I just thought it was really adorable. I got this guy. This is just like a little owl vase. And he's just in this like greenish blue color. It's only $1 and I liked him. I thought I could put some well whether or not it's fresh flowers or just like some artificial flowers in him flowers artificial flower see this is i am weird i'm really weird i have oh my god is that a dead bug no i think it's just dirt um but a dollar for him, I thought he was really cute and it's hard for me sometimes to find decor because I'm so hard. It's hard for me to shop for decor, but I like owls and I just, I liked him. So a buck. I got one pair of shoes today. These are by Merrill. I've never purchased anything by this brand before. I don't know if they're anything spectacular. I'm going to have to look these up, but they looked like really nice quality shoes. So I decided to take a gamble on them because they were in really nice condition. They're just these brown, kind of like Mary Jane style sandals. They look super comfortable and they look like they're in really nice condition as well. So these were a dollar. So I figured I would take a chance on them so hopefully you know they're worth more than a dollar i need a drink it's really hot today speaking of being really hot and i bought some well some gloves i bought some winter gloves these were a dollar they're they say they're texting gloves they're just like this gray soft knit gloves like the finger tips are all out so you can like use your fingers. The original price says they were from Boss Cobbs for $9.99. So I just got these to wear um, this winter, probably just to like work or something. So I got those. I got a candle. This is like one of the last things in the world I need. I, I'm kind of a candle hoarder. I might've already mentioned that before. Um, but you know, candles don't go bad. That's just my motto. Candles don't go bad. So why not have a word of candles? They smell good and they don't go bad. Oh my God. This smells like Christmas too. This is the Yankee candle balsam and cedar. Oh, it smells, smells amazing. So it's just like a, a smaller one, but it was only a dollar. So that's a great deal. I mean, that would be like going to the Dollar Tree and finding Yankee Candle for a buck. Like, it's just, you can't just pass up a Yankee Candle for a dollar. Come on now. So I got that, even though I did not need it. Um, I got this Bath and Body Works. This is from their Temptations line, which I sorely miss. Uh, but it's the Frozen Daiquiri Body Lotion. This was $4, so it was pretty pricey considering it was yard sale, uh, but they don't make the Temptations line anymore, and this is worth more than $4. Oh, it smells so good. If it wasn't worth money, I would just keep it for myself, but I do plan on selling it. So I got that just because I knew it was worth money. I don't know why Bath & Body Works doesn't bring back the, that Temptations line. It's so popular and it's so expensive to like buy it on eBay. I got this little wristlet. It looks like this. It just has this like funky design to it. It's kind of raised. And then on the inside it has a tag that says Live Love Loft. So I'm assuming this was originally like from Ann Taylor Loft, but it's really nice and it was cute. So I got it. I think it was 50 cents or a quarter, like so pretty much nothing. I found this Kaleido Cosmetics. This is 
a blush, though really you could probably use it as an eyeshadow if you wanted to. It was $1. So it has a little mirror. It looks like maybe it was swatched once, which is not a big deal to me. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, I think, a shade you could, really, you could wear it as, as an eyeshadow if you wanted to. So a dollar for that. I got some poopery. This one is in Royal Flush. It was one dollar. So this is the stuff you spray in your toilet before you go, go to the bathroom before you poop. Um, it does work, but... And I have some poopery, but in all honesty, like when I'm sitting down to poop, like sometimes I'm not thinking about spraying the toilet first because sometimes, you know, the feeling takes over and it's like you just need to sit down. Like you're not thinking about spritzing some poopery in your toilet. You're just ready to poop kind of thing. Uh, but I still like having it and I especially like just, you know, keep it in the bathroom. Like if anyone is over and, you know, they have to go poop, but it's not so, you know, weird for them. Uh, but this one is in Royal Flush, and it has more of a masculine scent to it, which is nice. So, um, I doubt my boyfriend will use it, but, you know, because he doesn't use the ones that I have at the house now. Let's see. I got this Yankee Candle Smart Scent Vent Clip. So, this was $1. I thought that was a good deal. It comes with the vent clip and then a fragrance disc in Red Raspberry. So I thought that would be good for summer. I just recently purchased some uh, vent clip air fresheners from Dollar Tree and it was in like a lemon lime scent. Smells like kitchen cleaner. It's pretty gross. I'm not really keen on the scent. So I figured I'd give this one a whirl. Unfortunately though, this means I'll have to buy Yankee Candle fragrance disc refills, which I'm sure are more than a dollar. <laughs> Unless I could find them at yard sales. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought a dollar was a good deal. Even if it's just like a use once and toss it kind of thing. I mean, that's how the Dollar Tree ones are. I mean, I won't toss the disc thing just in case I do pick up more of the discs somewhere. But again, one dollar, not a big deal. Uh, let's see. I found this Mary Kay. These are mini Nourish Shine lip glosses. This whole pack was 75 cents. There are three, six different shades in here. So I thought those were really cute. I might keep these. I might put these in my giveaway. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing with them, but since they were brand new, I figured I'd pick them up even if I do put them in my giveaway. I got this Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Frost uh, Pocket Bag Hand Sanitizer. This was 25 cents and it smells like fall. I cannot wait for fall. I love fall. It is like my favorite season. I need to put some of this on since I was touching all those tissues and used socks. Um, but yeah, it smells really, really good. So I got that for a quarter. I got this Scentsy Pear Blossom and Cucumber Wax Tarts. These were $1 smell really nice and fresh. Definitely have a cucumbery smell. It's slightly perfumey though, but it smells good. I really like it. It's like a refreshing kind of scent. So they were a dollar. Yeah. And then this is my last thing. I am finished with my haul. Oh my gosh. So it's like a half an hour. Oh my goodness. Man, where does the time go? Um, there are always like free boxes and stuff like that sitting around at yard sales and this baggie was in a free box and they are teeth. They're, those are teeth in there and I wanted to know what I was taking before I, you know, walked off with it. So I asked the people like, what the heck are these things? And they told me that they're shark teeth. So I got a baggie of shark teeth for free. So yeah, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them, but I like weird stuff. <laughs> oh, yep, that's me. That's, that's Michelle. 
I'll pick up free baggies and shark teeth out of your free box at, the, at a yard sale. That's just what a mish do. But that is everything for um, this Saturday's yard sale haul. Uh, I think I did amazing again, like week after week here lately. I'm just like, I cannot believe I've been finding what I'm finding. It's just insane. So I hope you guys had a really good weekend yard sailing and thrifting as well. If you found anything super amazing, you'll have to let me know what you found. And also let me know down in the comments what you thought my most awesome find was of today. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.